Well, hey, y'all, Dan here. You know, the trail has a way of taking total strangers and bonding us into lifelong friends. And these groups of friends in the hiking community is known as Tramily. Earlier this week, on the first edition of Monks Alive, I got to sit down with three Tramley members, and uh, we talked about our hiking adventures, and we talked about our plans for 2023. It was Nicole hikes a lot, and her husband Tim, and their bear, Harry. So come on and join us as we sit together and talk about our plans for 2023. Well, there you are. <laughs> that was awesome. Good to be here. That was really hard to put together. I mean... Very well done. Yes. They, they they put a lot into those things. Not counting those ballots. Be, be, yeah. Ken from Be Still on the Trail says, I'm not going to count those ballots. Uh, it was actually clean. But <laughs> We believe you. <laughs> oh, so much fun. The people were just so warm and welcoming and, uh, and really like Elf, Elk Falls. Every yeah. little town around here has its own thing. And that's uh, really something yeah. you never see anywhere else. That's cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> oh. Wow. So that's sort of why I was asking the questions about what's the most bizarre thing that you've seen. So what about you guys? <laughs> um, pr probably in New Mexico, that place with the aliens. Oh yeah, Roswell, New Roswell, Mexico. New Mexico. Roswell, yeah, that was yeah, pretty that cool. Be. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what to think about that because you know it's kind of cheesy. Uh, they they convinced me. Oh, yeah, aliens have been here. Yeah, because <laughs> because they multiplied there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like the whole town, you know, that's all that they they do is aliens. Yeah, and I mean I've seen a lot. Of, a lot of cheesy stuff here in the States that you wouldn't do like in Germany. And I always laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, here in independence, they have Neawala and Neawala is Halloween spelled backwards. And oh, so they have this yeah. huge, huge week long celebration. Oh, and wow. uh, they have the queen Neela, to this year, they I think they crowned Queen Neela the 85th. So they've been doing this for 85 Thanks. years. Yeah. And wow. apparently in the early 19th century, some of the business owners here were aggravated that the young people were causing too much trouble. So they decided they were going to give them another way of, of uh, expressing themselves. So they have this huge parade. And and this whole this whole week of stuff, so they have a, a play. They do a and, and the production this year was Peter Pan. It was as good as anything I've ever seen. It was a great Peter Pan play. The young lady that was Peter Pan, her voice was amazing. And then uh, and then they have three parades. They have one that's just children. And, and their families go out there with them. But they had a thousand children. Oh, wow. Marching in this parade. They put a lot into <laughs> that. Yeah, they do. And, and then the, the adults, they dress up in Halloween costume and they go out and parade. And then they have a parade of <clears throat> just everybody. So this year there were 32 marching bands from high schools all over Kansas oh, wow. and, and northern uh, Oklahoma. And that's pretty and amazing. Yeah. They, they put so much into the marching bands here. Mm -hmm. Like yes. I've never even yeah. seen anything like that. We don't do that in Germany. The high schools typically don't have activities or bands or things you join. You uh -huh. just do what you're required and that's it. But here there, there is so much more that goes into it. These kids work really hard. Yeah. They, like they the work very hard. Band, you yeah. can see them practicing in 90 degree weather in the summer i got john noble he just and no no relation 
but uh john just joined on so i was trying to write him a note to say hi nice nice turnout yeah great turnout well it's yeah i mean i, I appreciate everyone so much uh appreciate mm -hmm. you guys for my you know this is going to be <laughs> different uh and uh, so i'm trying to get used to it but we'll get there yeah you're doing well yeah and i know chris he really likes outhouses so this was for him yeah <laughs> yeah this was for him well did you see the one that i thought reminded me of, of mm -hmm. um, yeah a little bit more boards a few more boards yeah but it did look a lot like yeah, the, the typical outhouses you see in the parks like mm -hmm. that one at pictured rocks mm -hmm. and you get yeah. a great great view i mean yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you do that what's you, more relaxing you, you know go, like going to do your business and you have such a great view and yeah i i actually remember there is a similar one at north cascades at pelton basin camp we we oh, spent really? up there and the outhouse was at this great lookout mm -hmm. most awesome view you can ever think of and i sit there and i'm like thinking nothing bad early in the morning and I look down and there is a huge black bear. Yeah. Oh no. Just walking, <laughs> you know, in the valley below. And I just just about fainted right then. Yeah. <laughs> that was relaxing. He was just waiting his turn. Yeah. He was waiting his turn. Yeah. Made made me like feel all constipated all over again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the outhouse is kind of nestled in the huckleberries. It, yeah, bear territory. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember mm -hmm. when I was hiking through the Smokies. You know, and you would, you would, the, to get a place that actually had a privy. That was a nice thing. You oh know, yeah. The mushroom fields. Yeah. You wanted to stay away from the mushroom fields. <laughs> 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 As my wife, she says, I don't know why you do this. I'm going to have plumbing. I want indoor plumbing. Yeah. Well, no, I actually find it's more relaxing to go out in the woods yes. if you don't look at a bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Harry? Do you uh, do you have any trouble out there? Um, I actually I'm pretty relaxed when I'm out in nature. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't need any laxatives. I don't need fiber. <laughs> I just feel relaxed by being surrounded by beautiful nature. There you are. Yes. <laughs> for for all of you who don't know, Nicole and Tim, they have this thing they cohort with bears. Yeah. They have three great bears that go with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've even done 65 miles on the John Muir Trail out in the Sierra. Yeah, all five of us. All five of us. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's yeah, great. people don't get it, what we're doing. They think we're crazy, so. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's okay. We all, that's what makes this community sort of fun. <laughs> oh, we well, Ken, I'm glad your mom's looking, watching us. <laughs> I'm glad we're entertaining her. Uh, or, or that was Kevin. That wasn't Tim, or Ken. That's Kevin. He's his mom's looking at us. Uh, oh, nice. Laughing. Hi, Kevin's mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and Jason. Jason, he's reminding us that your bears kept stealing his stuff. Oh, yeah. out there. And I remember on Cumberland Island when I first brought the bears, Jason was like. Go away, Nicole. <laughs> but he is pretty quick. I think he embraced it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'll get this name messed up. Did you see this from Kat? That po is it Pofi? Yeah, Pofi. Yeah. Oh, Say that's... hi to Harry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Boy. That, that was so much fun when we all uh, met on Cumberland Island and Katia yeah. came all the way from Belgium and brought Perfi. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good times. That, that was a, a highlight of the year, yeah, too. It was. I think I, 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 this has been a, a really great year. I got to, to hang out with you guys. Uh, got to see uh, Nomad, Nimblewood, Nimblewill Nomad. 
Yeah, that and, was a mistake. And, and talked with him uh, <laughs> twice, actually. Because oh, wow. I don't know, it, it, you don't know it, but the first video I did of the year in January, I interviewed Nimblewill. We went through the whole thing and I didn't have any audio. Oh, gosh. No audio. Oh. So I, I, I called him and we talked. And I said, you know, if we could do this interview over the phone, then I can I can dub it in. He said, I don't know how you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I, I, he said, no, no. It just means that you've got to come back and see me again. So we drove on the way to Cumberland Island. We drove through and saw Nimblewill at Flag Mountain, and I got to do the interview. Oh, and nice. that time I made sure I had the yeah. audio. <laughs> <laughs> triple, quadruple checked. <laughs> over and yeah. over. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was wonderful. He's such a legend. And then, yeah. Yeah. And just such a kind hearted guy. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he's left Flag Mountain. He's not there anymore. And he's off somewhere writing his book of poetry. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. So I want, I want to read, get that and read it. Yeah. Hey, John. Senior hiker just, just popped on. Hey, John. Uh, that's great. <laughs> and, uh, well, what are you guys' plans for 2023? Anything coming up? Oh, What's yeah. Happening? Yeah, we've got a lot planned. Hopefully we can stick with it all. Um, so we plan on um, getting back down to the Smoky Mountains, definitely. Okay. It's been a whole year, so it's time. Usually the springtime is great down there. Mm -hmm. yes. And we actually would really like to meet up with Senior Hiker down at Pine Mountain uh, on a long weekend. Yes. Um, that would be good. Yeah, that's still on the on the horizon right here because mm -hmm. we couldn't make it in the fall. Yeah, and <clears throat> um, if we could all do that, that would be great. And yeah. another thing is uh, the Sipsi. You know, that's another place that we haven't been to. Sipsi Wilderness. Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, I just had a friend that just just contacted me was wanting to know if uh, I was going to do the Sipsi. Um, this year because yeah. we didn't get to do it last year. Right. Tell yeah. Yeah. That would be great. And I'd like to um, then we definitely plan to return to Big South Fork, Tennessee later mm -hmm. this spring. Okay. And you know, that's so, so great for solitude. I mean, it's just one of those places that people aren't aware of the beauty of it. And yeah. you find so much solitude there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then in May, we plan on heading back out to Colorado. Yes. It's an early trip. Might not be able to get to the high elevation, but we just want to see the low elevations and maybe some elk babies that are born in the valleys. Oh, that would be fun. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. And uh, then what else do we have? July, we plan on going out to um, the Wyoming uh, like the Teton area. Yes. Okay. And then from there, after one week, we will drive to um, the Sierra mm -hmm. and work mm. our way down to the Mammoth Mammoth Lakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 So yep. that's going to be a long, long road trip because we're driving it all. But mm -hmm. um, Tim will do some work from the room that yep. we're staying at, and that will give me okay. time to go out on some of my solo trips. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then what else? I just, I think that's about it. Maybe two Colorado trips usually and the Sierra. Okay. Wyoming, definitely. And Michigan. Yeah. We always want to go back up to pictured rocks. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, you know, if anyone's interested, pictured rocks, we would like to do maybe the 40 miles that goes through the, yeah. Um, the park up there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Red River Gorge yeah. again. Yeah, the Red River Gorge meetup uh, will be on Columbus Day weekend. Mm -hmm. So for anyone that's interested oh. to join <clears throat> the craziest meetup ever, it will yeah. be at Hanson's Point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Talk about sensory overload. I don't know if I can do it or not. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was just such a blast. My face was frozen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun thing yeah what a fun thing 
Uh, and we always like oh. the Apple Watch. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Ken has a question here yeah. for you from Be Still on the Trail. Do you call it a solo if Harry's with you? Mm. I usually do, but he disagrees with me on that. You can see that he's all bent out of shape right now. Yeah, I can see. I can see that look in his face. He yeah. definitely yeah. wants to be counted, you know. So, of course, <laughs> I, I, I think it's wrong to call it a solo if it's more than one person. Quite honestly, yeah. Well, Another that, person. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you got a point. You got a good point there, Harry. <laughs> Oh, fun. Well, what are your I, plans? You, you got big plans. I think I'm going to. Um, my brother and I want to go down to Texas and do a, a rails to trail okay. hike down there. We may do that in, in January. Uh, we've got some things happening here in the family that I don't know. So I'm trying to plan around some, yeah. some family things. And then um, I'm going to highlight. Uh, Kansas this year. That's going to be sort of the theme of my my hikes. So there's a, a trail called the Cherokee Trail that goes from the the, the um, Oklahoma border all the way up to the Santa Fe Trail. And it was it's fascinating history behind it because there was a wagon train from of of Cherokee from Oklahoma during the 1840s, and, and they actually did two wagon trains, 1848, I think, and 1850 was the other one, uh, where they were going out to California for the gold rush. Wow. And, wow. and there were two white wagon trains that met up with them, one from Arkansas and one from Missouri, and the Cherokee were the educated people. They, they were attorneys, medical doctors, accountants, and, and the whites didn't know how to keep books. So they gave yeah. the books to the Cherokee to keep for them. And then as they went out through Colorado, the, the Native Americans in Colorado were friendly to the Cherokee. So it sort of protected everybody as they went out through. And, uh, and they didn't do the Oregon Trail. They, they had their own trail called the Cherokee Trail. So I want to hike that. I want to, know, I want to annotate it and document it. Right. And that's sort of going to be the, the main focus of my videos, I think. And then I'm also going to go out to a place called Monument Rocks and Mushroom Rock. Oh, yeah, we've there. been to Monument Rocks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. 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 It was great. Out in the middle of nowhere in this yeah. flat place, all of a sudden these things pop up. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. And then a place called uh, Little Jerusalem State Park. Are you oh. familiar with it? No, mm. it's the Badlands of Kansas. Oh, nice! Ah. And so I'm gonna gonna hike through that, and uh, Good. that's the main thing. And then I hope to be able to hook up and meet with you guys. Yeah, uh, and hike with y'all again. I'd like to go up to Isle Royal. So oh, that you yeah. might want to. Yeah, that's want to go up there again. We haven't done yet. That's yeah. definitely. Yeah, it's an amazing place. Uh, mm. And I didn't see any moose. So I, I got to go back up. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, they say there's fifteen to eight hundred hundred moose that live on that island. And you have, you, yeah, that. Is and they all hid from me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else saw them. Wow. They even walked through my tent site after I had yeah. dropped my tent and left. I know that you said you saw the tracks. You know, yeah. I saw the tracks. They were as big as my hand. Yeah. And then, uh, and saw a lot of where they had been a lot of evidence of where they had been <laughs> yeah. but didn't see any moose and the moose, wolves yeah yeah you can see those usually like the little pellet looking yeah they're delicious <laughs> <laughs> just like milk duds only yeah different. they look like it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the uh the wolves they they are the only predator for the moose and that's all the wolves go after. So it's very wow. safe. Yeah. Uh, but it is remote. It's a very remote place. Yeah, it was great so we'll when see. you saw the wolves. I mean, that yeah. That was yeah. really great. That was nearly half the population of uh, of the whole area. So did you hear the wolves howling at night? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. 
it was really cool. Oh, a senior hiker has a question for you. Oh, what's what's? Uh, Terry, are you sleeping on that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nicole likes it a lot, so she she uses it. <laughs> Needs a little more elbow room. Especially, well, I love it when I'm solo car camping too, yeah. to have mm -hmm. it with yes. me. So it's really nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice and roomy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my. Well, any other questions that anybody that's watching, if you're still watching, <laughs> they have for us? They are. They're still Hike watching. with Mike made it. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> Let us know when you're going to Isle Royal. Yeah. Oh, okay, Ken. Will do. Now, Ken went with me to uh, uh, the Foothills Trail. That was great. Oh, yeah. And that was an awesome. That's I would like to go back there again. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that looked so good. I'd like to go there and just document the waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just do a video of just the waterfalls. Yeah. And they were beautiful. Yeah, beautiful place. Ken, I'll let you know if you want to go. That would be great. Mm -hmm. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We, it's it's a great. I mean, there's two different, actually three different trails, but two main. There's the Greenstone Trail, and it's the one that's the the most traveled. It goes right across the center ridge of the island. And then it goes from one harbor to the other. Mm -hmm. Then there's the Manong Trail, which I did. And a uh, lady tried to talk me out of it. She said, you don't want to do that. It's it's oh. it's not traveled. And, and if you get up there, you know. But uh, then I talked to a ranger, and he said, how long were you in the Army? And I said, well, for a while, I just, you know, didn't, wasn't smart enough to get out. And he, uh, he said, you won't have any trouble. You won't have any trouble. Uh, yeah. So, that so, yeah. was probably the best thing you could have done, actually. Yeah. It was, it was wonderful. It really was. Three huge beaver dams. Uh, I got stuck in one of them. Wow. <laughs> my, my leg slipped off of a log and I went, my leg went straight down into the dam. I was, had water up to my waist mm -hmm. and then my, my foot was hung up on the roots down in there and I couldn't get it out. And I kept working and kept working until finally I got it out and I was fine. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pictured rocks is just so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Now the yeah, thing yeah. with pictured rocks is if you were planning, you know, to do the 40 miles, uh, through hiking that with several people, you would want to probably get your reservations in like six months out for the best campsites mm -hmm. along the, the way. Campsite. And we do fill up, you know. Yeah. Like the, I mean, we were so fortunate yeah. on our trip there. We had great weather. It was yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Campsites were good. We and yes. that was relatively late in the season for up there. And we really were lucky. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. Tell Cat yeah. good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we uh, that would be fun to to take a big crew, especially if you guys and Jason, because you guys know the place. And uh, now Jason, he yeah. could do it like we said earlier. He could do it as a recon, and then he can do yeah. the out and back, do the forty miles without sleeping, yeah. <laughs> do the whole thing. Yeah, he that's what. Jason, you said you could do it in one overnight, but I think I need like three overnights. Yeah, three. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> my my shoulders, you know, they kill me with I mean, it's always been that way. I have back issues and my my foot was broken and it didn't heal up right. And so uh, yeah, that would be nice to yeah. have the three overnights. Yeah, three, three nights would do it. <laughs> Plus, that gives you time to unwind and set up camp and yes. enjoy each other's company, you know, yes. and all that. Yes. So. Yes. Well, that'd be great. That would be a lot of fun. Thank you guys again. I Thank think what we're going to do, I, I want to announce our game. Oh, yeah. Because we're going we're gonna to have a contest for everyone who watches its own right now or those who will see the videos where I'm going to post these videos up. And, uh, and everybody can participate. You have to be subscribed. You have to like the channel. You have to, to make some kind of comment on, on the thing. Uh, but then here's the game of the week. 
And it's the question of what is the most bizarre thing you have ever seen, done, or experienced? But I need you to keep it legal, ethical, and moral. This is a family yeah. show. <laughs> so, you know, so, so send me an email or make a comment here in, in one of the videos this week. Uh, and then here's what I need from Tim and Nicole and Harry is we're all going to vote on oh. who has the most bizarre, interesting. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. That they make. Cool. And so the winner is going to really get rich. They're <laughs> going to get one of my stickers. <laughs> I'm going to send them a note of, of congratulations and I'll, I'll sign it and I'll put one of my stamps on it. Woohoo! Wow. <laughs> and, and then you get to go on to the wall of winners in my channel description. I've, if you go in my channel description, I've down at the bottom, I've made a wall of winners. And so this year I'm going to put the wall of winners on there uh, for everybody. So that's what we, uh, we want to do. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> yes. And I'll, I'll send you guys, uh, Harry, Nicole, Tim, I'll send you guys the comments and then you guys have to vote on them and I'll be the tiebreaker. So I can't vote on my own comment. No, Harry, not on this one. You can't on the next one. You can't on the next one. <laughs> All right. Thank you for having us. And yeah. we really, you know, look forward to hopefully have a, some adventures with you coming up here. And mm -hmm. anyone else who's interested, let us know. Anyone watching. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would that's be great. I, I really am looking forward to this. And to, yeah. if we can get more, then that's even that's oh, great yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We just have to have some kind of signal for that uh, privy that's there. In the yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, me. All right. Well, you guys take care. Have a good night. And for everyone, thanks for watching. Thank and, you. Uh, thanks. All right. All Bye, right. Harry. Bye. Well, y'all. Stay safe. Bye, Stay everybody. healthy. Right. Stay on the path. Right. God bless you. <laughs>